Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Map 3D into Maya 2022. So start from now, I'm going to guide you step by step. First, what you're going to do is just scroll down, go to my video description, go and download the Google Map 3D Grabble. This is the, the Google Drive download link. Just go and download this. It is a zip file. Once you finish download it, you have to extract it into a folder, something like this. All right. The first step, what you're going to do is install the render.1.13. Just double click this to install it in your computer so that you will get the render dot. Right. This is a render dot. Okay, open the render dot and next up, you must make sure you already installed the Google Chrome. Before you start, you have to make sure you close all the Google Chrome browser and also like the Microsoft Edge browser, the Chromium, all the browser you have to close it. Then open your render dot. And next you can see I provided you a Google Chrome render dot shortcut. We are going to use this. But before that, once you open your render dot, then you have to click file, inject into process. And here you have to type Chrome. Once you type Chrome already, it is already standby. Then activate the Google Chrome render dot just by using this shortcut. Double click it and open. Now you can see it will show you a conversation and also this one is totally blank like this. It is normal. It should be like this. Standby in this way. Then here you have to click refresh. When you see the Google Chrome GPU, you have to click on that and click inject. At the same time here, GPU starting with PID, click OK. Then, this Google Chrome, you should be able to see some white words with black background right here. Now you can just go to your, go to your Google Map, maps.google dot com right enter the google map like this and next step what you are going to make sure is pick the layer like this and also just click the more and make sure you take the globe the globe view now something like this and then close this now Activate the layer of the satellite. Next up, you can just go to find the territory that you want to capture the Google Map 3D. Now you can see the 3D is available. Let's say for this city, the New York City. New York is here. Now you can see, actually, all of these are the Google Map 3D. Let's say if I want to capture this territory, I have to switch back to 2D, something like this. And then maybe you can just zoom in, zoom in. Let's say if you want to capture this part, you have to, to make sure you, you close to here, something like this. Next, you have to back to your render dot. Capture after delay, you set to five seconds. Then after you click capture after delay, you have to follow my step by step. Click capture after delay, then back to your Google Map. Keep on moving in this way until you, you see the captures safe. Then you back to your render dot. Now you can see it is already captured. Next step, what you are going to do is just save it. Right, right click, save. And as demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop. I will just right click, create a new folder, name this as New York 01. Just an example, RDC file, New York 
we will want save the RDC file. Right now, you already can see the RDC file. The next step, open the Blender 3.0 that provided in Google Map 3D Grabber. I already installed the Maps Importer plugins. So now you can close your render dock already. Just double click, open the Blender that provided by me. Next up, just press button A and press delete button to delete everything. Now you are going to import this RDC file. So before that, you have to make sure you go to the edit preferences and go to the add-on. Make sure you check the map. Make sure the map models imported already tick. I already installed this in the Blender. I already installed it for you. So use the Blender 3.0 that provided by me. It is already pre-installed. So next, click file, import the RDC file, the Google map capture the RDC file. It is on my desktop. It is at folder New York 01. Double click the RDC file to open. And now it is opening. Usually it will show not responding like this. You just need to be patient and wait for a while until it finished loaded. You have to wait until the Google Map 3D loaded into the Blender. Just wait for a while at here at this moment. It depends on your computer speed. If your computer is a really powerful or fast computer, then it is going to load for a while. If you are using a lousy computer, then it is going to wait for a long time, maybe one minute or two minutes. It is ready soon, I think. Right now you can see it already finished loaded in your blender. The first step what you're going to do is just click and check the texture, everything. Everything is okay, you can see. This is the New York City. It's the part that I capture from the Google Map 3D. So what should you do the next step? You have to select them in that way and press Ctrl Z to combine all the mesh into one. Now, it is ready for you to export it as FBX before you get in into before you import it into the Autodesk Maya 2022. From the Blender, you have to export the FBX file. Click File, Export, FBX, and you have to make sure the path mode you choose copy. And here you have to highlight it to make sure all the texture will be embedded inside the FBX file. And as there are more, I'm going to save it inside my desktop New York 01 folder. I will name this as New York 01 FBX. I click in export FBX and then check the folder until you can see the FBX is already inside here. So in this stage, just wait for a while. Now it is exporting. Now you can see the New York 01 FBX already exported. If you double click the FBX, it is either opens by using the, the 3D viewer in your window tent or any of the compatible software that can view the FBX. Right, you can see this city. Now it should be no problem. If no problem, then we just close the blender. Now, always remember in this tutorial, we are going to import the Google Map 3D into the Maya 2022. Now you already get the FBX. It is really easy for you. This is the Autodesk Maya 2022. Just close this. 
And then from the folder New York 01, just drag in the FBS. That's all. And wait for a while. Now it is importing the FBS file. Now you can see it is really awesome that in Autodesk Maya to show the texture. Now you can see this is really the New York City part that already imported from the Google Map 3D into Autodesk Maya 2022 and it is really awesome. Of course you, you also can just edit the, the 3D mesh just by using the 3D modeling skill that you always use. For example, any of any of the 3D modeling action here. Right, that's all for today about my tutorial of importing the Google Map 3D into Autodesk Maya 2022. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation, happy 3D modeling and happy game developing. See you!